some of these kids around your neighborhood. And they're not from some model agency or somewhere. New faces in New Hall and just another way that the art tree is leaving a mark in Santa Clarita. We thought that is the quickest way to really uh, deliver a message that was important to this community. That message, art matters. Take a drive down Railroad Avenue in New Hall and it'll be hard to miss. 13 faces, 17 feet high, and 130 feet long. This is the second in what's planned to be a series of art projects to pop up in Santa Clarita. I think as adults, people driving by, they'll start to understand what's going on um, or question themselves, what is going on over there? What are these kids doing on the wall? The Art Tree is Santa Clarita's newest community arts organization. It's made up of artists, performers, musicians, teachers, writers, and community leaders. Their mission is to create a home where art, in all its forms, can thrive and inspire. The latest Art Tree project was inspired by a former tagger turned popular European artist by the name of JR, whose work can be seen all over the world today. We got some kids together from the Newhall Community Center, the Boys and Girls Club, and uh, kids around the neighborhood. And uh, we started uh, with the kids, uh, three, three kids actually taking pictures of the smaller kids. Uh, they actually took the pictures themselves. It's exciting and unique because when your friends or neighborhood, they see it, you can actually say, oh, I did that. It was just me and two of my other friends. I actually helped out the whole wall. And that's, that's the thing many people don't get to say. 15-year-old Rebecca is one of three volunteers who snapped more than 1,000 photographs of Santa Clarita kids, 13 of which were chosen for the wall. And now we're out, getting dirty, having fun, that's like what kids do. I have glue everywhere. <laughs> well, it's a messy job, but it's fun. And it's new, I've never, I, I put wallpaper up, but not this tall, and not with kids that I know. Now, this is my own paper because I did this, I took this paper. My wallpaper is going up on something special. I'm a person who dreams just out of reach and Bob dreams in the clouds and I always find that very stimulating. Diane is a founding member of the Art Tree and is currently serving as the education chair and secretary for the nonprofit organization. As a former elementary school teacher, she understands the importance of art education. We just like to reach as many kids as we can and provide them with, with arts experiences that make them realize how important the arts are. I think arts education always gets the, the short end of the budget and um, it's something we as a, a group, the Art Tree, we all volunteer our services, no one's paid. And we all feel really strongly that if you're going to teach the whole child, that you need to include the arts. The Art Tree finished eight weeks of art classes at the Newhall Community Center this summer. Affordable winter art classes will be listed in upcoming issues of Santa Clarita's Seasons magazine. Uh, probably two years ago, uh, I was going to a lot of meetings and it seemed like the answer to a lot of questions about uh, bringing art to Santa Clarita was that you know we needed to start with the children. So we all came together and started uh, doing some fun projects. To find out more about the Art Tree and how you can get involved, log on to thearttree.org. Megan Mann, SCV-TV.